Hello friends and welcome to this video on Authentic English. So today we will discuss the poem known as Crossing the Bar by Alfred Lord Tennyson. So before we begin, I would like you to subscribe to my channel if you've not already done so because I'm going to post videos on literature regularly. So if you are a literature student or if you feel you have problems in English literature, you might consider subscribing. So let's begin with the poem without wasting much time it's one of my favorite poems and i'm very excited in um, covering this up when i read it for the first time i found it very interesting so it was uh, in the isc school book that i read it for the first time and that is why i like it so much so crossing the bar is a poem about death written by british poet alfred lord tennyson in 1889 so this entire poem known as crossing the bar is about death so it was written in 1889 by the British poet Alfred Lord Tennyson. So you can put, see a portrait of him here, you know, kind of an old man in this photograph. It was written at a time when the poet was 80 years old and quite ill. So the interesting thing about this poem is that it was written at a time when the poet, when the person who wrote this, was 80 years old and quite ill. So it is natural that the poet was going to die. You know, the poet was about to die soon at the time this poem was written. He was already 80 and also very ill. It is clear that he was about to die soon. It was clear to him that I am about to die soon. And that is the time when this poem was written, when he was 80 and ill. Being a poet, he decided to write a poem on death, the inevitable part of our lives before he died. Okay? So, death is something that is inevitable. So, being a poet and knowing that he is about to die soon, he decided to write a poem on death. So before he died, so the inevitable part of part of our lives before he died, and the poem was crossing the bar. So the poem he wrote at that time was crossing the bar. Lord Tennyson insisted this poem published in the collection named Demeter and Lord Tennyson insisted this poem published in the collection named Demeter and other poems to be placed at the end of all his poetry volumes, making this poem truly significant. So this poem was uh, placed in the collection named uh, Demeter and other poems. So Lord Tennyson wanted that this poem should be placed at the end of all his poetry volumes. Okay. Why does he want that this poem should be at the end? Because this poem is about death. So this poem should be like, you know, signifying like the end of something. So he wanted this poem to be placed at the end of all his poetry volumes, making this poem truly significant. And that is why this poem becomes truly significant. Now, as I stated, the poem is all about death, and in this poem, the poet wishes for a calm and tranquil death to gently take him away from this world. So, as I told you earlier, this poem is all about death, and in this poem, okay, you know, the main theme of this poem, what all this poem, what this poem is all about, is that the poet wishes for a calm and tranquil death to gently take him away from this world. Okay, so the poet wishes that a calm death a tranquil a peaceful death gently takes him away from this world so the death should not have much chaos there should not be a lot of people mourning for his death there should not be a lot of fuss about his death the death should come gently and take him away okay probably to make him meet with his god so we'll discuss it in the next slide okay but before that okay we need to discuss the title of the poem which is crossing the bar the bar in the poem refers to a sandbar, which is an area of sand in the middle of the sea. Now this area in the middle of the sea, known as a sandbar, is very difficult to cross by a sailor. Okay, When a ship, you know, is a, have, have, has to cross a sandbar, okay, there are often problems associated with it because a sand, sandbar is kind of, kind of very big and the sailor has to face certain troubles certain problems in order to cross the bar successfully so you can look at the image of the sandbar that I've given you so this is the sea and you know this beach like thing this is a sandbar so the bar refers to this sandbar so we will uh, know what crossing the bar means and how this poem is connected to that everything together okay so let's move on in crossing the bar Alfred Tennyson uses the metaphor of a sandbar an area covered by sand in the sea that a sailor has to cross to reach the See, this process of crossing the bar can be tumultuous and difficult. In okay, so this poem is a meta is very metaphorical. In crossing the bar, Alfred Tennyson uses the metaphor of a sandbar. Okay, so 
the metaphor of a sandbar is used in this poem to denote crossing you know crossing life to achieve death so alfred tennyson uses the metaphor of a sandbar that a sailor has to cross to reach the sea this, this process of crossing this bar can be tumultuous and difficult okay the process of crossing the bar can be tumultuous and difficult in the poem the poet talks about crossing the bar of life or you can think of it as a barrier between life and death so the poet is living right now and the poet has to die soon this is what he knows so he has to cross the barrier between life and death to achieve death and leave his life behind so this process of crossing the barrier between life and death is compared to crossing the bar by a sailor now just as crossing the bar by a sailor can be a difficult and tumultuous process this process of crossing the barrier between life and death can also be a tumultuous and difficult process so in this poem lord tennyson lord tennyson wish, wishes that he can cross this bar easily okay without any difficulties that is he prays that his ship can sail over the sandbar very peacefully this is what this poem talks about and on a deeper level and on the metaphorical level this means that he wishes for a quiet death that he wishes to cross the barrier between life and death easily without any fuss and problems so what can be the problems associated with, you know with dying okay that he does not want many people to mourn his death there should not be a lot of drama chaos shouting and you know hooliganism when he dies he does not want that he should not be suffering very much when he dies okay he want a calm death he wants a calm death to take him take over him he does not want to suffer you know that he is lying on the bed and he has to suffer a lot before dying he does not want that what he wishes for is a calm and peaceful death to take him away okay so in the poem the poet talks about crossing the bar of life or you can think of it as a barrier between life and death tennyson wants to cross this barrier that is end his life and die in a manner which is calm and quiet he doesn't want chaos and fuss on his death just as the sailor would like to cross the bar without fuss and problem so i hope that this imagery and this link is clear to you the poem highlights the one common thing in everyone's life which is death so the common thing in everyone's life that is death is highlighted that death has to occur to everyone and the poet is convinced his time will come soon and he is, knows that he is about to die soon through this beautiful poem the poet wishes for a calm death which doesn't cause him or the people he will leave any physical or mental pain and death isn't despised by him so he wants a calm death which does not cause him or the people he will leave any physical or mental pain so he does not want either himself or the people he loves or the people he leave behind leave, he will leave behind to suffer from any physical or mental pain okay during his journey from life to death and death is not despised by him so he does not you know fear death he is welcoming death in a certain sense death is looked forward to because death you know is going to give us freedom from a lot of pains that accompany us in this world so death is not hated by him in fact the poet seems ready to embrace death as if it will set him on a new journey away from anything that is earthly this death is going to separate him from all the earthly things and it is going to set him on a new journey this journey is going to be probably towards god and all those heavenly things death he hopes shall make him see god the one who controls lives face to face okay so this is line in the poem that i want to see my pilot face to face so he hopes that this pilot can be god that death is going to make him meet god probably he is going to enjoy heavenly pleasures and leave all the earthly pleasures behind so this poem is actually very deep the poem begins with the evening and has a tone of finality okay so the beginning of this poem is in the evening this poem does not begin in the morning the poem begins in the evening itself so the poem has a tone of finality the morning is over and now darkness that is death will take over so the morning of okay so the morning or the major part of the life of the narrator is over and now darkness is going to take over and that is what the poet tries to illustrate death he wishes shall come shall come quietly and take him away so this is what happens so let's begin with the stanza wise explanation sunset and evening star and one clear call for me and may there be no morning of the bar when i put out to sea so the sun has set okay so the setting of the poem is in the evening an evening star evening star refers to venus that can be seen in the dusk used to emphasize its evening okay so 
this evening star emphasizes the fact that it is evening the sun has set already and one clear call for me and now the narrator or the speaker hears a call for him now what sort of a call is this okay so probably this is not an actual voice but a call that he hears from within him and this call is actually the call for death okay he can probably feel inside him that he's going to die soon and this call is used to tell about that same instinct and may there be no morning of the bar when i put out to see morning of the bar implies chaos and trouble in crossing the bar that is passing away okay and so the poet says and may there be no morning of the bar and may there be no chaos and trouble in crossing the bar when i put out to see and put out to see means cross the barrier to escape life and meet death on a metaphorical level but first let's understand it on a literal level okay so the metaphor begins right here and may there be no morning of the bar so the poet or the narrator compares himself to a sailor who is trying to cross the bar who is trying to cross the sand bar in an ocean okay what the narrator wishes is that when he is trying to cross that bar there must be no morning of the bar there must not be any sound okay any problems associated with his crossing the bar when i put out to sea when he is trying to put out to sea when he is trying to move to the sea by crossing the bar there should not be any problem or on a metaphorical level when he is trying you know to die when death is coming towards him there should not be any problem in crossing that barrier between life and death he should not be suffering either physically or mentally the people who he will leave behind should not be suffering and there should not be any fuss chaos confusion or problem in his death so this is what the stanza means okay so let's read out what i've written the poem begins in the evening which itself highlights a sense of finality the sun has set and the evening star can be seen in the sky the speaker feels someone or something calling out to him and we know it is the call of death probably he knows by his instincts that sh- that shall come to him that death shall come to him and that's why in this atmosphere of sunset and darkness he can feel the death call out to him okay so now when it's evening he can feel this that just like after the mornings there is evening and darkness in a similar manner after you know about 80 years of life after all the good things and bad things and all the experiences in life it's time for him to die and this is in since this is actually his instinct that comes as a call to him a clear call to him okay that's why in the atmosphere of sunset and darkness he can feel the death call out to him he knows death is near remember he is ill and already 80 when he is writing the poem when the speaker happily accepts the fact that he may soon be dead and presents to us wishes of how his death should be okay so he wishes his death should be in a certain sense manner he wants no morning of the bar or he wants to cross the barrier between life and death calmly he shouldn't have a lot of physical or mental pain the people he is leaving behind shouldn't mourn much and altogether there should be a peaceful death just like a sailor would like his ship to cross the sand bars without any trouble to reach the sea so this is how both the metaphorical and the literal meanings come together this is how they are both linked note that death is like coming back to the sea after crossing the bar and hence death is welcome and not looked down upon so death is not looked down upon death is in fact welcomed by the narrator that okay and that is why he wants to die in a certain sense he knows that death is something that has to occur to everyone it is something undeniable so he has to die so he is not saying that i am going to run away from death or something like that it's some okay death is like the final and real home one must get back to okay so this is what the stanza says but such a tide as moving seems asleep to full for sound and form when that which drew from out the boundless deep turns again home like a tide which is very calm and silent and which doesn't make much noise must he go to the sea to or meet his death he wants to you know reach his death like a silent tide which is too full for sound and form okay in these lines the speaker discusses the way he'd like to die instead of a morning sand bar okay instead of you know facing trouble over crossing the sand bar instead of you know having trouble in crossing the barrier between life and death the speaker wants to depart from death on a calm silent tide which seems asleep okay he wants to move over a silent tide okay that seems asleep a very silent tide should gently take him away to death the desire for a peaceful death is hinted at again the tide seems too full for sound or form in other words it is a calm tide that carries the speaker silently to his death so the tide on which he has to ride okay 
the tide on, on which he has to cross the bar has to be a very silent and peaceful tide okay a tide which does not make a lot of noise okay which is too full for sound and form and which is not very foamy or frothy or very noisy so this is what these two lines imply in the next two line this okay when that which drew from out the boundless grief a deep turns again home he was like a tide of the ocean born in great great depths and is now returning to where he belongs so, okay so in the next two lines the speaker probably refers to the action of the tide that originated in the deep sea returning towards the harbor now the tide that originated in the deep sea drew from out the boundless deep now boundless deep refers to the sea so the tide that originated in the deep sea returning towards the harbor and covering the sandbar and can make the speaker cross the sandbar easily so this tide that originated in the sea is turning towards the harbor turns again home this tide can help the speaker cross the sandbar easily okay the tide is the tide water is going to cover the sandbar the ship is going to get water and the ship will sail over the sandbar easily so this tide is going to help him cross the bar also it may imply that the tide should be cooperative when the speaker sets out on his journey towards death so he does not want too many problems when he is going to die he wants the tide to be cooperative you know that is the circumstances should be cooperative when he is trying to die okay another idea that can be interpreted from this line is the fact that everybody has to return home the poet was once a part of the sea you know was once a part of the heaven then he came to the earth and now he is going to return to heaven again return to that place where he came from again which is outside the realms of the earth okay so this is like a complete cycle so this also can be interpreted by these lines now twilight and evening bell and after that the dark and may there be no sadness of farewell when i am back now this stanza is very simple it is twilight now and time has passed since sunset so earlier it was sunset and now it's twilight and it shall be dark soon and after that the dark the evening bells can be heard now evening bells can be heard in the ocean now these can be evening prayer bells or you know the bells the sailors can hear okay and another important thing that needs to be noted it not, noted is that you know sailing on a ship at dark in the night is a difficult activity it is something that is very challenging so he knows that it's twilight and now darkness is going to come over you know probably the ship is going to you know its destination or something like that you can interpret it like that and now darkness is going to come over and this darkness is the darkness of death that is death is going to come soon soon the day will end for the speaker too when it gets dark okay the the bells can be a reference to the death bell too now these bells that can be heard by the speaker can be a reference to death bell too so the stanza signifies approaching death it's twilight now and the bells in the evening can be heard and it's going to be dark soon that is it's already twilight and now death is just you know very close it's not very far away and may there be no sadness of farewell and when i embark the speaker does not want anyone to mourn his death including himself since death is something natural and has to come to everyone he does not want himself or anyone else to mourn his death because death is something that is going to come to everyone when i embark embark denotes a journey and hence death is considered a journey and a new beginning so death is not looked down upon by the narrator so this is what is happening for though from out are born of time and place the flood may bear me far i hope to see my pilot face to face when i have crossed the bar so in the last stanza the speaker says the tide of the flood will take him far away from the boundaries of time and place that is all of earthly things so death is going to take him away from all of earthly things all the boundaries and realms of time and space place he is setting sail on a spiritual journey that will give him the real pleasures that contrast with the pleasures of the earth so this paragraph has some spiritual connotations as well he is setting sail on a spiritual journey that will give him real pleasures that contrast with the pleasures of the earth so death is going to make him meet make him more godly make him meet god you know he is going to leave behind all the human and earthly things to become a superhuman an angel or something like that in this journey towards that he hope to see his pilot face to face okay 
the pilot may refer to one of one who has controlled his life all the while that is god and hence the speaker in a certain sense speaks about meeting god after having crossed the barrier between life and death so after having crossed the barrier between life and death that is after having died he hopes that he probably is going to go to heaven you know he's probably going to see god the one who has always been controlling his life the pilot okay so he wants to see the pilot when i have crossed the bar so after crossing a hurdle after crossing the bar that is crossing this barrier between life and death he hopes to see the god the stanza has religious connotations here the speaker aims for something spiritual and remember that christ was also made to die on a cross look at the word crossed in the stanza and also remember that christ was made to die on a cross so a lot of religious connotation is there in this paragraph although this man was not very religious himself when the speaker crosses the bar he comes out into the open sea which means he engulfs into death okay so when he crosses the bar he comes out into the o- into the open sea which means he engulfs into death the entire poem hence comes together and is stitched together so all the stanzas of the poem are stitched together they come one after the other in a constant flow okay and um, this entire poem denotes you know how the poet wishes to die and the central theme of the poem is that he wishes to die without any physical pain or suffering without causing pain to the people he will leave behind that is he wants a silent death to take over him and also denotes the fact that he can feel that he is about to die which implies that death is death is natural and has to occur to everyone and death should not be feared so death remember is not something to be scared of but a natural phenomenon that overtakes every living being so this was the poem crossing the bar by alfred lord tennyson and i hope that you people might have you know understood the poem well if you have any questions you can ask in the comment section below please remember to like the video if you understood what i taught you and share with your friends who might find this helpful and if you have any questions you can comment in the comment box below and also if you've not subscribed to the channel yet you can do that now so bye bye take care and we'll meet in another video